welcome to halftime. Soccer players around Italy swear by their morning espresso, but each country has its own fuel. I had the chance to talk to York 9 captain Manny Aparicio, and he taught me how to make the perfect cup of Argentinian mate while chatting about the first ever season of the Canadian Premier League. Manny, thank you so much for being with us today. Now, your story is very particular because you're actually a player on the very first season that CPL exists. Can you tell us a little bit about how that journey has been? Yeah, it's, it's been good. You know, it's been a roller coaster of ups and downs, you know, with, with a whole new team and, and everyone starting to get to know each other. You know, the first two few games were, were a struggle with chemistry and just team bonding and things like that. So far, we, we're doing really well in the league and in the cup. It's, it's been uh, unreal for me to, to be able to be one of the first captain for, for my hometown. Uh, and, and to have the trust from, from a guy like Jimmy Brennan and Carmen Asako, you know, the, to, to be able to lead this team and lead that team out in the first game of CPL history and our first game in history as well as a club uh, was huge stepping stones in my career and, uh, and hopefully, you know, I can help this team going forward with that. We've seen a lot of growth with soccer in Canada. You did play with Toronto FC Academy and in Canadian soccer. Then you transitioned into Spain and now you're back. What has changed since the last time you were playing in Canada? Yeah, huge difference. I mean, when I when I first signed with TFC, uh, I was 17 years old, 10, 15,000 seat stadium, and now I look at it and it's a 30 something thousand stadium. And and same thing with you know a lot of the other teams with Montreal, with Vancouver, and now with CPL. Uh, I think it was something that Canada soccer was really missing to build that national team, have a bigger player pool for for everyone. There's just so many different cultures and so many people that love football that you know it's just going to keep on growing. And one of your highlights with the team this season was actually getting onto ESPN Sports Center's top 10 plays of the week. I want to know if you can run us through that moment. It was a happy moment for me. My, my family was actually visiting from Argentina that day, so you know it was a great moment for me in, in my career. Now we all know that Italians love their espresso and their coffee, but Argentina has a bit of a different tradition. Can you tell us a little bit about what is in front of us right now? Yeah, this is what we call mate. It's natural to our part of South America. It's just a tea that basically that, that we drink. It's just different type of mechanism. We have the cup and then we have the straw here, which filters out the, um, the herbs so you know you don't drink them when uh, when you're when you're drinking the water. There's always one guy who who serves the mate and he passes it around and you know you, you finish the mate, you give it back to that person, he'll put more, he'll give it to the next person in line and it just goes around and it's just a kind of a conversation starter and stuff like that. But yeah it's just more than anything a social thing. And what are the benefits of drinking mate? Well you know as as a soccer player the benefits are you know you, you, you stay hydrated so you'll have like a thermos and you end up drinking a lot of it so you stay hydrated it's very good for digestion as well all right well i hear that there's a very particular way to pour it and to prepare it so maybe if you can run me through that and i will try to make my very first mate for me i just i take some of the some of the herbs and you you put them into the mate so what i would do is i put my hand over it and you kind of shake it because it's a little bit dusty of a drink, so then you'll see that there's a lot of dust that comes on, so then you just kind of shake it off. And, and yeah, and then now you're ready to, to pour some water in. You kind of tilt it over to the side, okay. and then you'll pour some of the water in. So then, yeah, after you shake it, and after you put the first sip of water in, you put the mumbisha in, and you kind of just like put it down all the way to the bottom. And then what I do is add a little bit more water, and then you just drink. The, the, only, the only thing is the bombisha is something you don't really move because if you move it, herbs get into it and you start sucking them. So you can't stir it at no. all? No. Okay, should we give it a try? That's really good. Thank you for being on the show and for teaching us a little bit about mate. No, thank you for having me. All right, salute. Salute. Thanks for watching Halftime and I hope you enjoy the second half of today's match.